let's uh, solve uh, one more interesting problem related to matrix that is rotate matrix rotate image so this is the problem this problem can be <clears throat> this problem says that you are uh, given that n into n 2d matrix representing an image rotate the image by 90 degrees in clockwise so that we have to do that in in place okay example you have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so once you rotate this it will become 7 8 9 7 4 1 8 5 2 and uh, 9 6 3 let's try to understand this uh, what steps we can follow for this to solve this one uh, example you take uh, same matrix uh, basically 3 by 3 in this matrix <clears throat> so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so once you transform this and this should become this should become This should become one. Let us take same color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So this is what actually we need to represent. This can be done in uh, two ways, basically. Right. So first, uh, what we can do is we can transpose two steps we can follow. That's what I mentioned. Uh, step one is transfer this input matrix uh, once you transpose what happens. So you will get like this matrix can be transposed to transpose right so once we transpose what will come 1 4 7 this 1 4 7 will come here and uh, 2 5 8 2, 5, 8, and 3, 6, 9. Once we, we transfer this one, then next step, what we will do, we will reverse this one. I mean, uh, try to reverse each row. Okay, let's see that also here. Okay, so reversing meaning uh, each row and column, right? So you try to bring this one here, that is 7, 8, 9, this will be here, and this will be here, and 4, 5, 6 remains same, and here, One, two, three. So these two steps we, we are planning to implement. This will be like a of n square time complexity. Okay. I hope you got this. Let's do that. So first step, as we discussed, we will try to transpose the matrix. Transpose the matrix. Let us get the length of the matrix. It's a simple uh, way, don't complex for understanding also. For i equal to zero, i less than m, i plus plus. For j equal to i plus one, 
c less than n again j plus plus we, we, we need to just try to do that in, in place matrix of i j and matrix of j i equal to just a swapping actually j matrix of j and matrix of i j right so th this is what we are transposing once transpose we will uh, as our understanding right? we transpose this we will get this particular matrix there once we get this we, we will try to convert the rows and columns uh, basically we will reverse it actually mm -hmm. okay so yeah uh, this will be again We need to try to iterate the length of the matrix. Here actually we need to take J and K as starting comma M minus one and J should be less than K and J comma K equal to j plus 1 comma k minus 1 we need to trade this much now matrix of i j comma matrix of i and k equal to matrix of i k matrix of i and j so th this will be like a like a reversing rows to columns columns to rows like a second step what we discussed so so here if you see one two three will be basically seven eight nine become first and uh, 4, 5, 8, 6 remain same in the second place and 1, 2, 3 become lost. So that reversing that. So once this is done, let's try to run this code and see. Mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a time complexity could be of uh, m square or n square, whatever it is, yeah, size of the matrix, that's it.